My name's Deborah, and a few years ago my husband Charles and I retired to Panama. We became Hubilados Abroad. Thanks for joining us. Rented bikes, electric bikes. I had never ridden one before. I was so scared I was going to kill myself. But with some tutelage from Charles and the guy that owns the shop, I did pretty well. We took off for the north side of Bocas del Toro. But we realized that neither of us have leather butts and there's a lot of construction. And so the bikes are tearing us up. We have made it about an hour in and we passed a couple of really good places to go swimming already. And so what we're going to do, instead of going to the north side of the beach, we're going to turn around. It's one, we're hungry, and we're going to go back down to that restaurant. I can't remember the name of it. Scully's. We're Scully's. And we're going to grab a beer. We're going to... <laughs> you moved. <laughs> we're going to go to Scully's. We're going to grab a beer. And we are absolutely going to jump into the first swimming hole we find. Although here they call it the ocean. We're calling it a swimming hole. Did you hear the monkey? I did. Did you see the monkey throw the stick down and hit you? Yeah. That was a monkey. He threw the stick down. You're serious? Yeah, I didn't want to freak you out. All right. I guess I don't get to see no you monkey. You don't get to see the monkey, but the monkey did hit you with the stick. And I looked up and I was like, I'm not telling Charles. Oh, I wish you would have. Nah. You heard him though, right? Oh, I heard something, yeah. When you started talking, I heard him yell in the background. Yeah. It seems like you'd see him jumping up there somewhere. No. They're probably just watching us, waiting for us to die so they can eat our flesh. Do your little thing of calling them all out. One time we were sitting in Boquete and I was joking. I was joking. I raised my arms over a ravine and I said, come my jungle friends, let us commune. And about 17 Coda Mundi came just trailing up single file right next to me and Charles and one of them kept putting his hands on my lap wanting food and I was like I am never allowed to say that again so just for the record Charles made me say that again because he wanted monkeys <laughs> although I think that's far more dangerous than the Cotamundi which are basically Panamanian raccoons